Nearby Share is now finally, finally here for Windows after being announced, and it's in beta. It allows you to send and receive content from your Android devices right there to your laptop or desktop without a wire. Is it any good? Well, we've gone hands on to find out. Thanks for watching 95 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. So a few things to note right out of the gate is that this release is still technically not stable. Instead, it's supposedly an early version and that might not be perfect. However, in our experience so far, save a few sticky little annoyances, it's very simple, smooth, and a welcome new addition to your computer, especially if you like to swap and share files between your devices. To get started, you'll need to download the installer directly from android.com and you'll need to be running at least a 64-bit version of Windows 10 or Windows 11. You'll also need Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled on your computer. Sadly, ARM devices are not supported or compatible, but we've not yet tested this running on a virtual machine on macOS on those M1 series devices, so that actually might work in some instances. Google also states that the effective radius is around about 5 meters or 16 feet for optimum transfer rates and connection stability. That is a pretty big range. So this means once installed, you should be covered for practically any device you'd want to connect with around your home or even an office. The installation process itself, it's really quick. Just download the .exe file and choose your account you want to sign into. That's your Google account. And nearby share will then disappear into your system tray on Windows in many cases. Just click this to open and the dialog box is fairly simple and self-explanatory. You can adjust the device visibility, such as who can see and send you files. If you do choose hidden though, you'll only be able to send files in one direction, from your PC to your tablet, your phone, or your Chrome OS and Chromebook devices. Sending files is really easy. You can drag and drop these from the window, or you can tap to select and choose a predetermined file location. You can also choose just what device you want to send the content on to. From here, you can just accept the connection request on your smartphone, your tablet, or your Chromebook, and the transfer process starts like it does in nearby share on other hardware. A nice touch here is though that there are some material U flares and touches within the application window view, and this just helps create more cohesion, especially for those of you with Pixel phones. When nearby share though is fully activated on your PC, you can actually right click on your files on your computer, and you'll actually see a quick send with nearby share option that will just quickly load up the UI and let you send files pretty quickly and absolutely seamlessly. To make things even easier day to day, Nearby Share will automatically run in the background when your PC starts here too. And this means you don't have to do anything once the initial setup process has been done and dusted. This is one of the biggest things as far as we're concerned as for anyone that isn't familiar with Nearby Share, the set it and forget it nature of the system on Windows machines might actually help increase awareness of the function and people might use it more often. Having played around with this for a while though, it definitely seems faster when using a general Gmail account and not one attached to a workspace account. And I think this is important to note as you may see single digit kilobyte transfer rates as I did when playing around with nearby share on my PC. And this works in both directions in my experience too. But if you must use such an account, you can just set the transfer or let the transfer carry on in the background or basically use a wire because this could be taxing on your smartphone or tablet battery. One thing that I think is super helpful is that you can choose or select where the files you receive get saved on your computer. By default, this is the C drives download folder, but you can choose any location on your PC for organization and easy access later down the line. To add to that, when the transfer process on your PC is complete, a quick toggle to open the file or location does appear. And I think this is a nice touch, but it will disappear if you do ignore it or click another window. A notification will also appear within the Windows Notification Center in the bottom right, and this will just pop up for greater visibility. When you select it, it just lets you track and transfer processes if you're sending things while performing other tasks on your computer. In all honesty, the experience is really excellent so far. And if you have an Android phone and a Windows PC or laptop, I think it already feels like a must download, despite only releasing as what is an early beta for the wire-free transfer functionality. Integrating what feels like directly into Windows 
means that you can just fuse nearby share into your working life or day-to-day -day usage of both of these platforms. Just whether people will perform the first step without knowing about nearby share already remains to be seen, at least at this stage. At present, nearby share is technically only available in the United States and several other countries, including the United Kingdom. Annoyingly, I have some bad news as it isn't officially available in the following countries, including Austria, Belgium, Bulgaria, Croatia, Estonia, Finland, France, Germany, and a few others to boot that you'll see on the screen. There may be ways to try this option on your device, but we have to say your experience may vary and there's no guarantee that it will work correctly. That said, I think this is a great step in the right direction and a long overdue option for Android and Windows users, especially given the plaudits that recently or regularly adorn Apple's similar airdrop function that of course work exclusively on iPhone, iPad and Mac OS. I will say it's not quite as seamless, but I think it's as close as we're likely to get between Microsoft and Google's operating systems, at least for now. If you do want to try out Nearby Share for yourself, you'll find download links down in the description below. And I want to ask you, have you tried Nearby Share on your computer already? Let us know what you think down in the comment sections below. How are you finding transfer data rates and all that kind of thing? And do you think it's a game changer or just a function that you'll barely use? Hopefully though, you enjoyed this brief video. But until next time, this is Damien with 9to5Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.